ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟು ಫಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಸಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಲೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಬೈ ವೇಜ್ ಎ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕೆನ್ ಒಪ್ಟೈನ್ ದಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೇಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇ ಎ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಟಿಬಲ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಸಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಸೀವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಸೆಟ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಸೆಟ್ tenancy is nothing but relationship between the tenant and the landlord see leasing is nothing but taking an asset for use of a, the tenant for paying payment of rental expenses or rental periodically after deducting the taxes that's called as leasing what are the advantages of leasing see the advantages of leasing first one it helps to process and use a new piece of machine or equipment without huge investments in the business for machines it enables business to preserve precious cash reserves so instead of buying paying large amount of money you can go for a leasing and you can keep the cash reserves for your business purposes the smaller regular payments required by a lease agreement enables business with limited capital to manage their cash flow more effectively and adapt quickly to changing economic conditions fourth point it also allows businesses to upgrade assets more frequently ensuring they have at least latest equipment without having to make further capital investment means you can use such assets by leasing all upgraded assets you can use without investing large amount in buying the assets it gives business certainty because asset finance agreements cannot be cancelled by lenders and repayment are generally fixed see lease agreements cannot be cancelled and you can have 100% certainty in your business and you can use that asset till the lease agreement is get over what are the advantages of leasing see continuation to this it is easy to access because it is secured largely or entirely on the asset being financed rather than on other personal or business assets the rental which sometimes exceeds the purchase price of the asset can be paid from revenue generated by its use directly impacting the lessee's liquidity using the purchase option the lessee can acquire the leased assets at a lower price as they pay the residual or non depreciated value of the asset easy installments are exclusively material material costs see there are some disadvantages or limitations of leasing it is not a suitable mode of project financing because rental is payable soon after entering into lease agreement while new project generate generate cash only after long gestation period certain tax benefits incentives subsidies may not be available the cost of financing 
is generally higher than the debt of debt financing. A lease, a lessee who want to discontinue business need to pay huge penalty to lesser for pre-closing lease agreement. There is no exclusive law for regulating lease transactions. These are the some of the limitations. What are the different types of lease? First one is financing lease, operating lease, sale and lease back, leveraged leasing, direct leasing, first amendment lease, full payment lease, guideline lease, net lease, open end lease, sales type lease, synthetic lease, tax lease, true lease. Like this, we have nearly 14 types of leases. What are the contents of lease agreement? Description of lessor, the lessee and the equipment. Means who is a lessor, who is a lessee, their personal details and what is the equipment or the asset involved in the agreement, lease agreement. What is the amount, what is the time bound and the place of the lease rentals payments. Time and place of equipment delivery. Lessee's responsibility for taking delivery and possession of the lease equipment. Lessee's responsibility for maintenance, repairs, registrations, etc and the lessor's right in case of default by the lessee. Insurance to be taken by the lessee on behalf of the lessor. Variation in lease rentals if there is a ch change in certain external factors like bank interest rates and depreciation rates. Option of lease renewal for the lessee. Return of equipment on expiry of the lease period. See what are the problems facing leasing industries in India. Unhealthy competition. See there is no proper healthy competition among the leasing industries in India. Because of this uh, there is a greater problems challenges. Lack of qualified personnel. Tax consideration. Stamp duty. Delay payment and bad debts. These are the some of the challenges or problems in for leasing in India. Next topic is what is higher purchase? It is an agreement under which goods are let on higher and under which the hirer has option to purchase them in accordance with the terms of the agreement and includes an agreement under which the owner delivers possession of the goods thereof to a person on condition that such person pays the agreed amount in the periodic installments. The property in the goods is to pass to such person on the payment of the last of such installments. Such person has a right to terminate the agreement at any time before the property passes. What are the rights of hire? Means hire purchaser. To buy the goods at any time by giving notice to the owner and paying the balance of higher purchase price less a rebate. To return the goods to the owner, this is subject to the payment of a penalty. With the consent of the owner to assign both the benefit and the burden of the contract to third person. Where the owner wrongfully reposses the goods, either to recover the goods plus damages for loss of quit possession or to damages. 
representing the value of the goods lost. See, there are some additional uh, rights also. Right of protection, right of notice, rights of reposition, rights of statement, rights of excess amount. All these are some of the other rights of a hire. What are the rights for the owner? To forfeit the deposit, to certain, to retain the installments already paid and recover the balance due, to repossess the goods which may have to be which may have to be by application to a court depending on the nature of the goods and percentage of total price paid to claim damages or any loss suffered. <clears throat> Features of higher purchase In higher purchase you get goods transferred immediately from owner to the higher immediately, immediate possession. And higher charges, regularly you have to pay higher charges. So higher have to make payment to the owner. Initially, you have to make some down payment, initial payment, reposition. In case if the hired did not pay any money, installments or higher price, the owner have every right to get back that asset or repossess that asset. Return of the goods and depreciation. All these are the features of higher purchase. Difference between lease and higher purchase. This is important for five marks. Ownership. In case of lease, ownership will be with the owner. And in case of a higher purchase, the ownership also will be transferred. Method of financing, depreciation, tax benefit, salvage value, deposit, nature of deal, extent of finance, Maintenance and report. reporting. See RBI guidelines for higher purchase business. Bank shall not themselves undertake directly the business of higher purchase. Banks desirous of undertaking higher purchase business through an existing companies or new subsidiaries. Banks investments in the shares of subsidiaries engaging in leasing and higher purchase business shall not exceed 10% of the paid up share capital and reserves of the banks. Without prior approval of RBI, banks shall not act as a promoters of other higher purchase companies. Prior clearance of RBI is required for the purpose of any application to the controller of capital issues in case of IPO of new subsidiary and FPO of existing subsidiary banks. Bank shall furnish necessary information regarding its higher purchase or equipment leasing subsidiaries as and when RBI demands. Advantages and problems of higher purchase business in India. Advantages is spread the cost of finance, interest free credit, higher acceptance rates, sales and debt solution. Problems is personal debt, final payment, bad credit, creditor harassment, repossession rights. And the last topic in the second unit is what is consumer credit? It refers to consumer debt is a debt taken by an individual to buy goods and services. Consumer credit can be in the form of credit card or any type of personal loan. See, consumer credit can be classified as revolving credit, installment credit, open credit. So these are the 
some of the topics which we have covered in the second chapter of financial services. Thank you guys.